I actually had seen it advertised last year, and then through Fox Communities Credit Union is where we bank. Um, on their website, it had mentioned it, so I just looked at it again and went for it. I think we had been looking at Fisk to try to we tried to figure out our our money situation for a while. So, and so, this was kind of a and we could win some money. Why not? <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I, I looked at it and then we talked about it and it just made perfect sense because we were going to talk to them anyways, so mm -hmm. why not enter in the challenge and really go for it, so. We don't um, always communicate the nicest with each other about money, so it's 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 good to have the counselor to help us go through everything, but it, it's it's challenging <laughs> and it's, it's having to talk about our finances and figuring it out, a little nerve-wracking, but important. Our biggest challenge is coming to some sort of plan that we can work together on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really have any training. I just, I don't even know if my mom showed me how to use my checkbook. I just sort of got a bank account and started, and I've struggled for a long time. I'm doing better now, but I haven't had any training, really. I, I didn't either. Um, about, well, it was probably about two or three years ago, I just liked, my, my plan was just have like a few thousand dollars in a checking account and then just don't look at it. So I really haven't, had, I never really had much training. My parents, I think they were good at managing money. We didn't really talk much about it. Um, I think that was kind of their plan too, was just keep a bunch in the, in the bank account and then just don't worry about it. What we're learning here is how do you manage your money? How do you separate into savings and play money and uh, charity and try to kind of learn for ourselves and then try to teach her at a young age. Mm -hmm. I am hoping that we will at least come to mostly, if not full agreement on how we should be managing our money and what we should be doing, that we'll at least be a lot closer to that and be able to talk constructively about our budget and just, I think, work better together. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting along when we talk about money. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will help our relationship. So. Yeah, and being able to actually save for what we want and have common goals and be able to reach them, um, I'm, I, that will be nice. We're also expecting another baby, and our daycare cost is going to increase significantly. So we, that's just one example of something where you know, our lives are going to be changing, but we don't necessarily want to be switching jobs or working more, and mm. we're using this also as an opportunity to figure out how we're going to be able to finance being, having both children in daycare and not having to change anything else, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I think she's got to, got to, basically, we're kind of freaking out that we have this big bill coming and we don't know what to do about it. So it's kind of this, also this opportunity to figure out how to talk, talk constructively about money together. But it's, it's nice to be, to have this place where you can kind of come and say, here we're freaking out about this. Can you give us a third party opinion on what can we do? Because we know we know we can do it. We just don't know how. So mm -hmm. I would say so far it was a little bit nerve wracking to try to you apply, you tell someone your whole financial life story, you get interviewed, but it's it's really not that bad. I mean everyone's been really friendly and helpful and to just know um, you know, knowing what how your budget is, what money you have, and it's, I think it's really helpful. I think it's worth it, and it's hard to take the first step to do it, but we're already starting to talk a little more about things where before it was not so much. <laughs>